Uh, well, uh, it is wonderful to be back in France. Uh, and uh, I want to thank my excellent friend and colleague, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy, uh, for his hospitality. Uh, he and I obviously have worked together uh, on a, a wide range of issues uh, since I've been president. And uh, I always welcome uh, his frank and honest assessment of uh, the situations here. Uh, it's also nice to be back uh, visiting in France. The last time I was uh, in the south of France, or the first time, rather, was as a college student. And I've never forgotten the extraordinary hospitality of the French people and uh, the extraordinary views uh, that uh, are available here. Uh, this morning, President Sarkozy and I reaffirmed our strong and enduring ties. Uh, and I've said on many occasions that France is not only our oldest ally, but also one of our closest. Uh, and I consider Nicola to be an outstanding and trusted partner on the world stage. Uh, I think it's no surprise that we spent most of our conversation uh, focused on strengthening the global economic recovery so that we are creating jobs for our people and stabilizing uh, the financial markets around the world. Uh, the most important aspect of our task over the next two days uh, is to resolve the financial crisis here in Europe. Uh, President Sarkozy has shown extraordinary leadership on this issue. Uh, I agree uh, with him that uh, the EU has made uh, some important steps towards a comprehensive solution. Uh, and that would not have happened without uh, Nicolas' leadership. Uh, but here at the G20, we're going to have to flesh out more of the details about how the plan will be fully and decisively implemented. And we also discussed the situation in Greece and how we can work uh, to help resolve that situation as well. Uh, and the United States will continue to be a partner with the Europeans uh, to resolve uh, these challenges. Uh, we had the opportunity also to talk about uh, a range of security issues. Um, one in particular that I want to mention uh, is the continuing threat posed by Iran's nuclear program. The IAEA is scheduled to release a report on Iran's nuclear program next week, and President Sarkozy and I agree on the need to maintain the unprecedented international pressure on Iran to meet its ab uh, obligations. Uh, and finally, I'm looking forward to joining Nikola and service members from both of our countries tomorrow to celebrate the alliance between our two countries, which spans more than 200 years, from Yorktown to Libya. Uh, and finally, uh, I want to make mention that this is our first meeting since the arrival of the newest Sarkozy. Uh, and so I want to congratulate Nicola uh, and Carla on the birth of Julia. Uh, and I informed Nicola on the way in uh, that I am confident uh, that Julia inherited uh, her mother's looks rather than her father's, uh, which, uh, which I think is a, an excellent thing. And uh, so now we share uh, one of the greatest challenges and blessings of life, and that is being fathers uh, to our daughters. So again, Nicola, thank you for your friendship, thank you for our partnership, and thank you for our, uh, your gracious hospitality. Well, you see Barack Obama's tremendous influence. For four years now, he's been explaining to me that to be a father to daughters is a fantastic experience he who has two daughters. So I have listened to him. Um, as a matter of fact, I followed his example. I must tell you that we had a heavy agenda because there is no lack of subjects for concern. And we need uh, the leadership of Barack Obama. We need the solidarity and the support of the United States of America. And we need a joint common analysis as to the way we can put the world back on the path of growth and stability. Together, President Obama and myself are trying to build the unity of the G20. And I wish to pay tribute to uh, the United States for the understanding 
about uh, all the issues we'll be discussing over the next 48 hours, and in particular, the issue of the Greek crisis, the difficulty that the euro is facing, the need to be hand in glove with the United States, uh, and the language of the final communique. Again, I want to thank uh, President Obama for his understanding on all matters, including that of a levy or a tax on financial transactions, where I think we found common ground, at least common analysis, uh, namely that uh, the world of finance must contribute to solving the crisis that we are all facing today. I also want to say how delighted I am uh, that uh, President Obama has agreed to stay a few hours after the end of the summit in order to uh, participate in ceremonies to pay tribute to American and French troops who have fought together so many times throughout the course of our joint histories. And I'm delighted to be to have the opportunity to uh, join uh, President Obama in a on a television interview because he is much loved and much liked here in France. So we have a very heavy agenda ahead of us and we'll have many opportunities to see you again and explain to you what decisions we've been led to take.